I'm a fourth year medical student. I am currently awaiting news as to where I'm going to go for my residency. Kind of exciting time, kind of at the end of the road, end of a long slog with my wife, and uh, we're pretty excited to finally be on this end of it. She might deny this. She crashed my sister's wedding because I asked her to dance like twice and she said no. I didn't have the salsa moves yet, so you know. <laughs> I'm very old school. A lot of times when I start to feel bad for myself, honestly, I think of my grandparents and I think of my parents, you know? My dad working 24 hour shifts in a bakery, you know? My job is stressful and it can be tiring, but uh, it's not hard work. When I first got into medical school, there were two areas that I did not want to go into, and one of those was OBGYN. I just said, absolutely not, you know? But once I started working in it, I, I found that I really enjoyed the work. You know, hearing the, hearing the baby's heartbeat, for many parents, that's the, that's the moment of like, this is for real. There's a heartbeat inside me that is not my own. You're aware of the man you married. Life is a miracle. Women form the lifeblood of our communities. They're the ones that take care of their children. They're the ones that send their husbands to the doctor's office. They're the ones that watch out for their families. And that's really my goal as a physician, is for a healthy community. And I figured that was the best way to do it. It's a girl. What are you gonna name her? You know, I'd already seen a lot of kids be born when my wife went into labor. All of a sudden, you're not on the doctor's side. You're not thinking science and objective and data. You're thinking, my wife is in real pain. <laughs> but after it was all over, there's no other more important moment to me in my life. It was the moment that I first held my son. Um, you know, when you, you get to hold him and you're like, man, you know, this is, this is really the beginning of my family. And you realize everybody has this exact same feeling. And no matter how many times you do it, it is always special. You know, my parents came from Latin America, a place where people die of malaria and diarrhea. And to come out here to the United States, you know, they still had to kind of tough out health problems because they just didn't have any access to care. One of the things that I plan on doing in my career is really helping those who have no other options. You know, like, I'm grateful to be the option for people that have many options, but I'm much more interested in being the one option for someone that has none. Nice. As far as I'm concerned, faith is not philosophy. Faith is something that should help your life. If you're gonna have faith, then you have to serve others, and that's kind of what draws me into medicine, the ability to change someone's life. I'm a fourth year medical student. I'm a future doctor. I'm a husband, I'm a father. My name is Javier Chavez, and I'm a Mormon. <laughs>